Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. Today you guys see I have the BW Bleach out and the developer so we are going to be bleaching the knots and I'm going to be giving you guys a step by step tutorial. So first of all our lace wig is actually a 370 lace wig and she comes courtesy of Yolisa Hair. 370 pretty much means that there's lace all the way around. You just get a lot more in the back than normal. I'll be sharing more details with you about that in the description bar as well as the end of the video but let's get right to the tutorial so I'm using a BW bleach I kind of flip back the plastic to make it easier to get to it I put on my protective gloves and I go in normally I'll do two scoops of my BW bleach um, sometimes I'll put a little bit of extra just to make sure I don't run out but usually two scoops is perfect here I did a little bit extra and you'll see in the end that I'll have a little bit left I'm giving this a nice shake and this is just a 40 to developer Pause. I feel like I said that a little bit weird. This is a 40 volume developer. You can pick this up at your local beauty supplier as well as the BW Bleach. There are many brands of both. I like to use different ones. Like when I run out of this one, I'll switch up. My favorite happens to be from the brand Ion. But of course, everything including the mixing bowls and the brush and everything you need to do this process is linked in the description bar for you guys to purchase. Now, if you're paying attention, you'll see that I'm adding in the developer gradually. The consistency consistency of this is very key to how your lace is going to turn out. If it comes out over bleach, that means this product was too thin. Too thin is a bad thing. Too thick can also be a bad thing. As you guys can see here, it's a little bit too thick and chunky. So if I was to take it at this point and apply it to the lace, it might sit on top and not properly distribute in bleach in every spot. So you want it to be loose enough that it'll like lay flat on the lace and kind of absorb into the knots but not too loose or too thin because if it's too thin it'll run through the lace on the knots and then pass the lace onto the root so when you're done it'll be like blonde roots on black hair which is absolutely absolutely a no-no so here I like my consistency um you can kind of see physically what it is you don't want it to be dripping or running or anything like that nice and thick but just not too thick Hopefully that makes sense. So here I'm just taking a holding spray. This one happens to be from Got To Be Glued. And I'm just brushing the baby hair back in the opposite direction. If there is baby hair and it is going towards the lace, you might run the risk of having like bleach the baby hair. Hopefully that makes sense. So you guys want everything to go back in the opposite directions for a clean application. And when you look inside the lace, you can kind of see how everything is out of the way. So since this is a 370 lace wig, there is excess lace in the back. I'm just going to go ahead and remove it now just because it's not needed. The reason I'm not removing the lace in the front is because you still might want to customize your hairline. And you also want to have something to hold on to. So you guys can see that I'm always holding on to the excess lace um, opposed to the actual like lace lace because once you add that bleach you don't want to be like putting your hands on top of the bleach you want something to hold on to but the lace in the back is not needed because I'm not going to bleach the knots in the back just because I'm not wearing like a sleek high ponytail where you'll actually see it um and also it kind of moves out of the way now you guys see how I had the wig flipped inside in you could kind of pretty much paint this on like that but sometimes I find it easier to flip the wig inside out and just hold it that way I can move it around and I can see exactly what I'm doing and I'm speeding up a little bit but you guys can pretty much see I didn't really cut any clips here so you guys can see like how I hold it the direction and all that flipping the wig inside out gives me again the most control to be able to get the sides and all that and if I wanted to get the back I could do that as well but just be careful that um, you're not pushing in too hard now because I'm going fast it kind of looks like I'm like pushing or putting too much pressure but I'm lightly spreading the product and kind of just dabbing it on because again, if you like press this in, it's going to press through and push through the lace. You kind of want it to lay nicely on the lace. If it seeps through or if you push it through, it's going to push onto that root. And again, you'll have blonde root. Now, if you get this on your hands, just rinse it really quickly. Make sure you use gloves because this stuff does burn. I've done it plenty of times. You guys can see the way I have the lace or the wig positioned. I'm able to kind of lift up the lace and make sure that I have it everywhere. In this case, it wasn't far enough. So you want to make sure that your hairline is 
bleached because the worst thing ever and this has definitely happened to me i've bleached knots went to go rinse it out of the sink and realized i didn't even bleach the hairline which is pretty much the most important part and as you guys can see i have a little bit left we did two and a half scoops of the bleach and all i needed was two Sometimes this comes, the bleach actually comes in like a little like travel size or like a small size package. That's literally all you need. You don't need too much. And again, I kind of check it. This is what it looked like at about 10 minutes. And so I came back a little bit later. Also, I wanted to show you guys these. I got these from Sally's and they're pretty much what you see in a hair salon, which are towels that um, will not bleach. I don't know the terminology, but pretty much I can use these on wigs and hair dye and all that and it won't turn colors as easily as regular towels. I'm also gonna use this purple shampoo. This one is my favorite. And then it's also one of my many favorites of conditioners and it's just a moisturizing conditioner and a purple shampoo. Very simple. You can get it from any brand, any hair store. Um, and again, I have it linked in the description box. So at this point, it's been about 20 minutes. And you guys can see I kind of flip it and look at the root and check it for myself. Now, key for me is do not over bleach, even if you don't like over bleach and it gets on the root you can still over bleach with it being just on the knots and then normally you can tell if it's over bleached if it turns like a funky yellow or a funky orange color this here is a purple shampoo and what it looks like on it literally is a purple shampoo and this is going to help to stop the bleaching process it's going to get that um, bleach out of the hair um, and it's also going to help to tone that lace again we don't want the lace to be orange or too yellow we want it to look skin like and this is why I never leave the bleach on for more than 20 minutes because I feel like when I go beyond that even if all the knots are not bleached to exactly how I want it um, I rather them to be lightly bleached than to be blonde or um, the lace to be orange I want this to look nice and as you guys can see I have my hand under there which makes it look a little bit orange but it looks like skin opposed to just orangey if that makes any sense so I'm gonna go ahead and wash it a second time normally I'll just wash one time and then the second time I'll lather the lace with the purple shampoo and I'll let it sit on the lace for about 20 minutes and again that's just gonna tone and make sure that the lace doesn't turn into an orangey color or a brassy color it makes it to be as skin like as possible in this case I felt like it looked fine and also I did just didn't have the time to do so so I just gave it a second wash now I'm going to go ahead in with the moisturizing conditioner as you guys can see um the hair looks pretty nice um you don't see the hair shedding and falling apart in the water I kind of didn't cut too many clips so that you guys can see for yourself that this hair didn't tangle it wasn't like um shedding or stiff or hard it was nice and small or nice and small nice and soft but again I still feel like whenever I shampoo like I have to condition like sometimes I'll condition and I won't shampoo but whenever I use a shampoo like I feel like it's really weird to not condition after and again you can just use any moisturizing conditioner that you have this one is Tresemme and it's like three four dollars and this is the inside of the lace and what it looks like after you've bleached the knots it doesn't have that orangey look again because we only left the dye on for about 20 minutes a lot of times you feel like 30 minutes 25 minutes and that's when you start to get that orangey color so I'm gonna go ahead and towel dry and then I'm gonna go ahead and add an elastic band off camera I want this lace wig to be glueless and the elastic band is the best way to do so so check out my tutorial on the elastic band method that is in the description box and again we're gonna go ahead and style her and then I'll tell you all about the lace all about the wig and the 370 and all of that but again here is another shot of what the lace looks like absolutely perfect I would not have done anything different so this is what the wig looks like. Again, we've adjusted the straps, we've took off the excess lace in the back, and we've also added the elastic band and bleached the knots. Now here's a close up of what the knots look like after we've bleached, and everything looks perfect. Again, you kind of feel like you could have bleached a little bit longer, but again, I would rather have it a little bit lighter brown then to have it to be blonde or over bleached they did give me a coupon code for you guys use bdeck at checkout and you'll get money off the length on this one is 22 inches 180 percent density this is what it looked like blow dried um, and i just did the baby hair really simple um yeah i had no complaints with this hair it worked out absolutely beautiful for me i have worked with this company a few times so i can say that i absolutely love their hair and as you guys can see in the parting the knots are perfectly bleached.
like perfectly it looks so beautiful i really don't even need any powder in the parting and yeah let me know what you guys think of this one i'm gonna go ahead and style her up and let you know my thoughts Okay, so this is pretty much it. It's the end of the day, granted, and um, I just came back from trick-or-treating with the kids. We went to the mall to trick-or-treat because they are under five. Diamond is four and Dakota is two. So I took them there and I had fun and then we went ahead and did a little bit around the neighborhood. Now they are chilling like a villain or two villains trying to go ahead and enjoy their candy. But this is pretty much the result um, I did add a little bit of powder around the hairline earlier. Again, I did film this this morning, so I've been sweating and the day has definitely hit me. But after I finished um, the hairline and the install, I just went around with the heat protectant and then I just kind of ran my um, flat iron through it. I did blow dry it also, if I did not mention. I usually prefer to air dry. But I was planning on taking some pictures today, so I went ahead and blow dried it, and this was the result. Um, I do have two French braids, so this is kind of bugging me, but the actual hair was really good. It was nice and full, and I love the fact that it's super full, so it's not sparse or thin at all, but it's also not heavy. This one will look good with some really nice layers. What, Cody? Now, something I like to do is I like to add mousse or foam lotion to the top when I refresh. So like if I go to sleep in it tonight in the morning when I wake up to restyle after I take off my bonnet and my scarf, I'll just take a little bit of mousse and kind of like work that around the crown of the head. And I don't know if you can tell how that refreshes that. Again, I have two braids right there, so I am so sorry about that. I wish I would have shown you the braids so that you could see that the installs actually flat or would be flat without those braids. But I just add the mousse and I kind of just like work it in and brush it. And normally that lays it down and takes away any frizz. And then for the ends, I'll add a little bit of serum if needed. And then normally what I'll do, I'll just take my flat iron and go from like the parting over. And that usually will kind of give it a nice light hold. And like kind of refresh it and make it look really, really, really good. So. Even if I don't have time to refresh the ends, I'll do that up top and it'll kind of make it look flat. You can't tell the difference as much because it was already done. But like a lot of times when I don't have time to do my hair, I'll do that, push it back, tuck it behind my ears. And then I'll do like, you know, ponytail, clip, or just leave it back. You guys know I've been loving the hair bands on my head, but this is usually my everyday kind of like how I restyle it. I don't worry about the baby hair as much. I'll kind of re-slick it too with that same foam lotion, but that's about it. The hair itself was nice to work with. It took well to the bleach with no problem. And of course, I did not have to do anything after. So again, this one came from Yolisa. This is the packaging here. When you open it up, this is the actual bag that the wig was in, of course. They did give elastic. As you guys seen, I did add an elastic band on my own. Um, they gave me some lashes. They also gave me some wig caps. And of course, they also gave a dust bag. Like during shipping and handling my bag or my box actually tore. So it's really cool to have a dust bag that I'm able to keep the hair in that won't bend or break or tear. It'll kind of just keep everything safe and protected. And yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check the description bar for a link to this wig. Also, make sure that you are subscribed and that your notifications are turned on. So much going on in my household over the holidays and it's officially holiday season because I always think of after Halloween, it's the holiday season. So yeah, make sure you subscribe, turn the post notifications on. It'll help me out so much. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.